we have D, we click in, we have our local changed uh, and go back to to what we want. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Anthony and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to really easily use the localization for your project using Vue i18n library specifically created for Vue, now for everything, I believe. Um, so let's get it started. So if we go to Vue uh, i18 int5.dev, this is the main page. And let's just let's get started with the installation. If you want, you can use, of course, the global imports, but I'm going to use my NPM for that purpose. So we have our application previously created uh, with the online shop. So let's go and just NPM install view 18n. We have quite a lot of stuff added. And uh, uh, the next thing I want to do is, uh, as they describe, I want to go to the main.js file. And as they say, let's import the create i18n from view. And then we will have something like that somewhere, uh, let's say here. So here's gonna be some uh, settings for our uh, localization. Usually inside of these uh, options, we specify the main language that will serve our application and possible languages. So let's create, we say locale, will be by default English and messages will be English, let's say English and German, German. But of course we need to create them. So for that purpose, we can go to SRC, let's say, create a folder, which will be called locale and let's create two files and JSON and a new file D JSON for English and German. And let's uh, create something like we have a cart in the header. So let's say that cart will be, come on, cart will be cart uh, en for English with double quotes, of course. Um, oops, sorry. What is that cart? Yep. And the same I will create in German, but it's just gonna be D. Perfect. Now we need to import it. EN from our locales, English, and the same will go for G, D, sorry, uh, D, E. Ah, uh, come on, D, E, right. And the last thing we need to do, we need to app use i18n. Perfect. Now everything works fine. In order to test it, let's start our application npm run dev. Let's see what we've got. We've got our application running here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. But nothing, of course, has changed. So let's go to our app. We have our button here, items in card. And let's just replace our word card with our translated value. Uh, for that purpose, you just add a dollar sign and T. And here you need to specify the key which you want to reference. In our case, it's just gonna be card. Let's say card. And let's refresh. We have card en. So now if we go to main.js and change the default one to D, we will have card D. So everything works really cool. The only thing is that it is very <clears throat> static, so to say, but I want to, it to be generic. So one of the possible cases is to save that locale into the cookies uh, and then retrieve it back from there. So let's go and do some primitive stuff. Uh, let's say I want to have um, import on mounted from view and on mounted, I will save the locale. So let's say document cookie equals uh, locale and D, for instance. So let's go and refresh and see what we've got here. Now errors, perfect, let's go to application, our cookies, and we have our locale set to D, perfect. Let's now 
make sure it works if we set to English it's EM and now in the main JS we can say that this is no longer be a static one it will be document cookie split split sub, sorry split uh, with the equality sign because it, it's just a string with the name equals value and we take the second element and now let's see so now we have it in English if I change it even manually to D and refresh the page it will change to D so you see card dash D that's really all about it uh, we can change it here let's actually uh, yeah, refresh and change it here, DE and refresh and it works absolutely fine. If you don't to deal with the, uh, with the cookies, we can do the same stuff using our state management. So we have our product.js file, which we created previously and let's create just another something in the state and it will be by default EM. Now, for that purpose, let's actually remove everything from here. We don't need it here. And um, let's do the following. So I now need to import my um, store. So let's do the following. I will do it after our application uses the um, PNM. So I'll create it here. And let's say that import product store I say const store equals product store function oops and here I'm gonna say that this is gonna be store locale so now let's go and check this out uh, let's switch it to D to make more to see more difference and we refresh we have it card D we can remove everything from our cookies just to make sure and yes, it works. Let's go to our view. Let's go to Pina and see we have our locale specified here. Let's change it to EN. And we have cart EN, meaning that everything works fine. And the last thing I want to show you is to how dy to dynamically change your locale. For this case, it's extremely easy. So let's go, for example, and add some buttons here in the header to change the locale. So what we will need to do is uh, I want to have uh, another two buttons. Let's say V button. Um, one will be EN uh, button, sorry. Uh, and another one will be D, D, E. Let's see. Yeah, it's here. And now as they describe actually in their documentation, you can just uh, use these kind of name to reference in order to change your locale. So let's copy it and let's say click, um, sorry, with the dollar locale equals uh, and it's going to be EN and the same stuff will go for click uh, for D. I think I forgot some. Yeah, click uh, and let's see. So let's refresh. We have D, we click EN, we have our locale changed uh, and go back to, to what we want. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and hope it will be useful for you. Uh, if you liked it, give a like, subscribe and see you in the next videos. Cheers, guys.